Okay, so in this video we're going to convert 12 kilometers to miles by dividing by 1.61. So we got to go 1.61 into 12, right? So that's the same as 12 divided by 1.61 or 12 divided by 1.61, okay? Well, it's 1.61 into 12. Now, what did I forget to do? Um, you can, you've got to convert your divisor into a uh, whole number. So you, you move the decimal point over two spots to the right like that. If you do that to the divisor, you also do that to the um, dividend, right? So move this guy over two spots to the right. So it becomes 161 into 1200 zero, zero, and the decimal point goes there, right? And then we can add on a couple of zeros just for fun because we might have we might need those as as it goes on and the reason that's what well, we can do that is because look 12 over 1.61 is the same as if I multiply this by a hundred over a hundred why did I pick a hundred because I know and you know I hope that if you multiply by a hundred you're gonna move the decimal point over two spaces to the right okay so 1.61 times a hundred will give us 161 what it and 12 times 100 will give 1200. See that? So 12 over 1.61 is the same thing as 1200 over 161, right? Okay. So, <clears throat> so we start off, we think, okay, 161 into 12 won't go. 161 into 120 still won't go. 161 into 1200, that'll go. Uh, hard to figure out what though. Hmm, how can we make this simpler? Well, we could we could we could block off this one here and think 16 into 100 into 120. So let's block off that that one here. So I got 16 into 120. What's that about? Just take a guess and check it. Just take a guess and check it. Five, six, seven, eight. What do you think? Um, I'm going to guess seven. So I'm going to go 16 times 7. I'm just going to multiply it over here and see what I get. 7 times 6, 42. Carry the 4. 7 times 1 is 7, and 4 is 11. So that looks good. That's 112, right? So I'm going to guess 7. So 161 into 1200 goes about 7 times. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 6, 42. Carry the 4. 7 times 1 is 7, and 4 is 11, okay? And now subtract and see what we get. So this becomes a 10, right? And by golly, we've got to steal one from all the way over here in the hundreds. To bring that over here, that make, becomes a 10, but we cross that off because we've got to steal one for over here. We cross that off, that becomes actually a 9, right? And this becomes a 10 here. So 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 2 is 7. 1 minus 1, 0, and 0, right? So 73. And now bring down this 0, right? Bring down that 0. So now we have 161 into 730. Um, to guess that, I'm going to block this one off and block that digit off and think, OK, 16 into 73. What do we think? Half of 16 is 8, so 5 sixteens is 80. You know the trick, half of 16 is 8, 5 sixteens is 80, so it's not 5 times. I'm going to guess 4. So I'm going to go 161 times 4 and see what I get. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 6 is 24, carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4 and 2 is 6, 6 44. I think that's going to be good. I'll try that anyway. If you make a mistake, you can always go back and try again. So I'm gonna guess four, we've gotta put my decimal point up here. Four times one is four. Four times six, 24, carry the two. Four times one is four, and two is six. And now subtract. 730 minus 644, right? So that becomes a 10, that becomes a two. But I gotta steal one from over here. That becomes a six to make that 12, okay? So because I because it's it three minus four won't work, so that's why I have to steal there, right? 
or 2 minus 4 wouldn't work, so I had to steal 1 to get a 12 there. So anyway, 10 minus 4 is 6, 12 minus 4 is 8, and 6 minus 6 is 0, so that's 86, right? And now bring this 0 down. And remember in the question it said, round your answer to the nearest tenth. So this looks like we could be going on forever and ever and ever. Well, let's not do that. So let's just get one more and see if we can round it to the nearest tenth after this. Because if we get one more, we'll be in the hundredth spot. See, this is units, tenths, hundredths. We're going to round it to this. But depending on what this next digit is, we won't know whether to round up or down. Because we could have to round that up to 7.5, or we could have to round down to 7.4. But we don't know until we do this part, right? So 161 into 80, 860. So let's block off the 1. And now it's 16 into 86, right? Block up the 0 there. So just take a guess. What do you think? Remember, half of 16 is 8, right? And so 8 times 10 is 80, so so like 5 sixteens is 80. So maybe 5 times, we try that. If you, if you make it, guess it wrong, that's okay, just try again. 161 times 5, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 6, 30, carry the 3, 1, 5 is 5, and 3 is 8. So that gives me 805. So if I go 5 here, I get 5 times 161 is 805, and now subtract. So that becomes a 5, that becomes a 10, 10 minus 5 is 5, and that's 5, 55. And so it said round up to the nearest tenth, didn't it? So our next digit is a 5, and it doesn't really matter what digits we get after this. We know that we need to round up. So if we're going around, so we got we got 7.45, and that's going to round up to what? 7.5, right? And so 12 kilometers is approximately 7.5 miles. M I for miles, right? Oops, sorry. There we go.